Iris Dearborn, is that you? Hi, Hazel. I've never seen you all dolled up. I hardly recognized you. What can I do More for like you? like a mud frog in a sweater set. You're here with the main competition film, To the Stars, in which you play Iris, who's the kind of bookish, sensitive girl growing up in Oklahoma in, I guess, the early 1960s. What was it about the role that piqued your interest? Oh, Iris's depth. The whole story piqued my interest. I just wanted to be a part of the movie in any way I could, and when Martha Stevens, our director, offered me the Iris role, it was a dream come true. She was, there were so m many challenges to being Iris with how many layers there were to her and all, all of her strong emotional scenes, which was, I, I mean, I love a challenge. So it was really a great opportunity for me. You and your co-star, Liana Liberato, have great chemistry yeah. on screen and to the stars. <laughs> Tell us about the experience of playing against one another, opposite one another. When Liana and I met for the first time, it was um, I was I was on board, and they were about they were going to hire they were about to hire her, and as soon as I met her, I thought, that's Maggie. That's all. It was, she was all I could envision, and I didn't know that until I met her, and I was like, wow, she's really, she's a really cool, tough, strong person, and she's such a generous scene partner. It's amazing working with her, playing alongside her was a dream. She and I are. I, lo I just, I adore her. I look up to her also. She's a little bit older than me. She's been doing it a little bit longer. So I learned some stuff from her, which is really cool. The list of directors that you've already worked with is really amazing. Wes Anderson, of course, Kenneth Lonergan, Jim Jarmusch, and more recently, Jordan Peele. As an actor, what qualities do you most appreciate in a director? <sighs> I appreciate people who are, uh, directors who are very protective of their actors and who want to create a safe space as Wes Anderson and Jim Jarmusch and Jordan Peele and Kenneth Lonergan and Martha Stevens, our director, created for us just an incredibly safe space to be vulnerable with your emotions, which as an actor you need because otherwise you can't, you can't give it all of the emotion that you need to if you feel like there's something holding you back in that sense. So that's, that's, my, <laughs> that's what I look for. And do you like for a director to give you detailed instruction, or do you like to be given more freedom? Both. Uh, Wes Anderson was a, is a very big fan of detailed instruction. I always, I mean, which for my first movie was what I needed. I was inexperienced. I didn't have any formal training as an actress. So that was incredibly helpful. But at the same time, there is so much learning that you can do when you're allowed a bit more space with your character that it's, it's incredibly beneficial to have both, both qualities. Your co-star, Liana Liberato, and the rest of the team from To The Stars have also been here in Carlo Vivari for the international premiere. Yes. How have you all found the experience? Amazing. I, I came to Carlo Vivari for Moonrise Kingdom seven years ago, and to be able to come back to such a welcoming community of film lovers has been amazing, and we've all just felt so much love and so much appreciation for our film, which is really what we want. We made this little tiny indie, and to have people love it in theaters so big and beautiful as there are here has been a dream come true. We've been so happy.